Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to web for tech This is a quick video on the Oxygen OS, which was released for OnePlus 5. I've got the OnePlus 5 and it's been a day and OnePlus already started to release updates for it. So I got the over the air and I'm going to show you how to get the update and what changes they did. So let's get started quickly. So let me show you quickly. The update came directly on the system's updates. I'm living in the US and the update already hit me. It's been a day. I opened it and I was playing with it for 24 hours and right there the update came. So as you can see, I did not force a VPN to get the update. It came automatically. But if you haven't gotten it in your country or you need to get the update, I'll show you how to get it. So I'm going to be posting a link in the description. You're just going to click on it and it's going to start downloading it. So you could download it directly on the phone or you could copy it over the uh, copy it over from the computer. So I downloaded it on the phone directly and it got saved to my download folder. So here's the download folder and the latest update file is here. So it's in the download folder. So what we need to do before we install it directly from the file, we have to select it, hold it. We're gonna click the little tier three dot menu and we're gonna click copy. And I copied it, I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna click paste under the internal storage. So select internal storage, click paste here. And it's gonna copy to the internal storage and I'll show you how to flash that update. So the file copied and we're going to go back to the settings, click system updates and we're going to click on this little gear icon and do a local upgrade and boom there you go. The file is right here and all you do is click local upgrade. Before I do the upgrade I'm going to show you really quick what version they were on before we start the update. So OnePlus 5 out of the box runs on the Oxygen OS 4.5.0. They're going to go ahead and update to 4.5. 5.3 so let's go ahead and look at the change log really quick before we do the update I'm just gonna go ahead and do the update directly from my systems update But if you haven't gotten it all you do is click on the gear local upgrade and select the file That's it. So the changes they're doing is basic screenshot fixes uh, some problems with Google Translator users have issued and some optimizations such as like uh, system randomly rebooting they did some system stability and then camera effect got fixed so it's uh, they're improving the camera day by day and Obviously, this is the first update right after the phone got released. You're going to keep getting more updates for the camera improvement and all the other stuff they're working on. So we're going to go ahead and do this reboot to upgrade now. So the phone finished and update is almost about to be done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you, it got updated. Uh, let's go to settings, uh, go to our about. And as you can see, it got updated to Oxygen OS version 4.5.3. Uh, it's running on the latest Nougat, so we are up to date. I'm just gonna make sure. So we are all updated and ready to use the new Oxygen OS update. So other than that, I think uh, wait, keep waiting for the updates. OnePlus is right on the spot of taking care of customers and releasing updates quickly and faster, improving their bugs right away. So this is something I'm happy about that they already started to release updates and you have be giving good customer service. So thank you for watching the video and please do ahead and subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye.